do you ever have those things that you see from time to time and they stay in the back of your mind and then one day you decide I am going to stop and observe this particular activity and this is where I live you have a lot of bridges nearby I live in the center of Amsterdam so you have the canals a lot of very photogenic bridges and of course you always see people taking photographs on the bridge However, once in a while you see these sort of special versions and it's a complete photo shoot and it's not like a group of people from Vogue. It's just ordinary uh, civilians with a pile of clothes, their smartphone or maybe a small camera. And they just go through this whole process of taking picture after picture on the bridge with different wardrobes. Once upon a time, this kind of thing was the domain of very expensive teams with very expensive gear uh, for, you know, high level magazines. But now, because of, I suppose, technology, everybody can do this. And I really began to pick up on it. I think it was during the COVID shutdown because our street, for some reason, um, film companies seemed to fall in love with the street and perhaps that had gone out to other people at the time we did have um, there's a guy he puts a lot of plants here and we did have a passion fruit sort of there was this kind of uh, little beautiful tunnel and it was special and almost every other day or at least at least twice a week during the shutdown then there'd, there'd be people who would come and you'd hear this noise um, and I'd look out to the window and sometimes they were shooting a music video and this is all sort of very low profile stuff in the sense that it's not with these big camera crews these are just small uh, teams of people and of course photo shoot after photo shoot after photo shoot and the street was incredibly photogenic um, because it was shut down, it had this, it was almost like a film set kind of thing. But anyway, that's when I first really started noticing people coming with bags full of different clothing and then changing the clothes. And so, of course, I'd see this on the bridges and this time around I decided to stop and just watch. And it was really fascinating to see that like our skill sets, as long as you do something more than once, you develop a skill set. And so they were able to tamper with the makeup, you'd have two or three, uh, tamper with the makeup, change the wardrobe, sort of adjust the camera, adjust the pose. And it was all very fluid and very smooth and actually very professional. And then I thought, I hope, I, I, well, I didn't hope, I probably wondered where are these photographs going to end up? But that's a whole other story about the photographs we take of ourselves and spread around. Anyway, so that was that. That was the uh, watching the young professionals um, express themselves through clothing on one of the many wonderful bridges in Amsterdam.